Well, today, new testimony in the trial of former Mount Carmel Dr. William Husel, NBC4 Stan Perlman, as he has been, joins us now live from the Franklin County Courthouse. Uh, how many did the jury hear from today as far as witnesses go? Well, you know, Brad, today they heard from five, bringing the total for this entire trial up to 40. Today they heard from a doctor, three relatives of patients involved in this case, and a nurse, Yusuf Hebrow, who worked in the Mount Carmel West Intensive Care Unit. Hebrow discussed his involvement with Bonnie Austin, one of the patients part of this case. He says he was fresh out of orientation when he cared for her, and she was the first patient that he had on on his own that died. He testified William Husel ordered 600 micrograms of fentanyl along with a sedative for Austin before the nurse removed her breathing tube. And he said Austin died 20 to 30 minutes later. Take a listen as Ebro answered a question about Dr. Husel's practice. Do you uh, remember discussing with any other uh, nurses or preceptors uh, Dr. Husel's practice? for palliative extubations? Um, from, my, from what I recall, I was told um, every doctor orders different medication for palliative extubation. Uh, there wasn't like a set medication or doses that um, everybody orders. Um, so that's what I recall. Now, you may remember yesterday, another former nurse, uh, nurse from the Mount Carmel West ICU described Husel's relationship with some of the other male nurses there as a bromance. What Ebral says about the culture there tonight at five o'clock. Local for you at the Franklin County Courthouse, Dan Perlman, NBC4.